Hey y'all, it's me again, Joey. Um, today's date is February 27th. It's on Saturday. And we're headed to a little resident uh, just a few minutes east of Franklin, Louisiana. Going to meet Mike Berry there and a member of our one of our bee clubs here in Washington Parish. And we're gonna do a little bee removal. We hoping it's gonna be pretty simple. They're in a bay window that was added on to the place after it was built. So we're, we're hoping they're right up under the little cove under the vents there. So let's head that way. We get it open and see what's going on. Show you how back in the country we are. Actually, I don't think it's quite this remote. The way I'm coming in, this is just like a shortcut. You through yet, Mike? <laughs> All right, this is what we got. Bees hadn't really started flying yet. It's real foggy this morning, but they're going right up in here. And we're hoping they're just inside that little cove area. Let's get set up. Good morning. How y'all doing? That time you got here. You're gonna get on video now. <laughs> Are we ready? Well, them blueberry bushes will be blooming in just a little while. Do I need to cut that dirt down out of the way? You don't mind any of this getting tore up, right? Tear it up. You didn't have to do that. Yes, I did. My <laughs> wife told me when I got some oh. bees out, I'd be sure why I got them trees out of there. <laughs> well, that, that's done then. No, it ain't. You gotta <laughs> dig up them roots. Yeah. Well, I got some stuff. What in the world? I'm just going to get that solid wood under there, huh? There ain't no telling. That's probably a band going all the way around there. I brought a saw. Don't worry about that. I got a saw. So if it comes to show, we can get in here. Don't worry with it. Well, that's why I asked him. If I bet this stuff will burn like crazy. Oh, it will. And it will burn, too, shortly. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what you're talking about, man. Dirt roosters and explain things to me. Is that, what is that? I can't see it. Burk on. All right, yeah. Well, maybe it is easy as it looks. I'm going to set this right in here right now. It's got bees on it. Yeah, you can shake them somewhere. Here. They can. I'll shake them in a minute. That little bit of. Now give them smoke. Want some more? No, uh, we gave them enough smoke to try and calm them down for this part of it. It ain't that big of a hive, I don't think. There's that. Yeah. All right. Here they come. Well, it looks like some old, 
They were trying to make an old queen sail there one time. That's what I was thinking that was. That's what I was looking at. Where's that flashlight go? Oh, yeah. Hello. He's been here a while, ain't no doubt, but it goes on back too. Oh, yeah. So, we're just going to take our time, cut them out one after the other. I don't even know if we'll be back in much. It's full. One, two, three, four, five, six combs full. Seven, if you count that one. All right, so we just got to figure out how we're going to do it. We're gonna, we're gonna actually work our way from the back. Cause those we might tear out. I'm guessing it goes right up to that windowsill, but it don't look like it goes any other direction. And there's a wall right there. My thing is getting out. Hand me that, uh, is that Michael? Is it today? Let's <clears throat> get, get a comb out so I can get a shot on the camera. You need a pan to put it in? No, it's uh, it's all dry. Okay. Well, the bottom of it is. That's all I want out. Man, that's how to get them going good here. <laughs> want to get one piece out so we can start working our way back without disrupting them too much. This old cone we can put in that gray tote. No, it's a tall one. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they don't like that. Give me a little smoke. I wish I could run down from the top somehow. Mm -hmm. All right. Enjoy. Tell me something. How hard? We don't have to worry about this day when it's too much. How hard it would be to take off this right here? It's a super fork. Without cutting. If we took this cedar off and pulled that front to come off, or would it well, compromise I'd the security? I'd have to get this blackboard off of it. That ain't no blackboard, that's just a belt. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. That's just a super fork. Yeah, I'd go ahead and tear this one out. Let's do that, because you know what? We're not going to be able to do anything with this. Right. I mean, we are, but we're going to tear it up for you. You can kill that. I'm thinking if this, see, I don't know, it's going to, that's a tuba stick. Because all we're doing is making a big mess and making them mad. Yeah. We can get this off when we start pulling the comb right off the bottom and be done with it. But I, you can put it back. You ain't worried about it, right? Right. Take it. Do whatever you got to do. All we're doing is making a mess right now. I just hope the window don't fall off. But if it falls <laughs> off, it just falls off. I don't think it will because it'll be held by these two. Right. If we can pull this one off, as long as you're good with that. This I'm is, good with it. This is just felt. There it is right there. We can pull. That's two by, isn't it? Yeah, that's two by. Right here. We can pull that off. Pull it off. What is that board running underneath? Just a scab on? I think so. That's what it looks like. We'll just take it off. There we go. 
Yeah, like them nails. Yeah, I see that. You want me to knock them down? Just throw them over there somewhere out of your way. I'm talking about them sticking oh, out here. Sticking out over yeah, there. Hand. Now we can do some work. We can get to the front. Pulling it out of the back wasn't, wasn't the right thing to do. We're going to try this. You got, oh, let me move That's good. I don't want to mess yours up. That's, that's fine. All right. Here we go. That's all. Honey. Honey. All right, get you the vacuum and, and you hold these and get the vacuum links. numbers down man you get the numbers down that's half the battle yeah them some are gonna eat you up when they're powerful you get them down to nurse bees where they're just guarding their comb when it's easy oh yeah I see it right there we may need to uh, no we're good we got enough fruit Run off the side, top, yeah, I got a feeling she's gonna run up in there. We're gonna get some repellent up in there, though. I have to take the boards off the bottom of these other <laughs> sides. We're gonna yeah. pull them. As he said, you can take them all off. All we gotta do is take the siding off. All right. Yeah, that's good. I put some repellent over there. Keep them out of there.
keep going right up in that corner and trickle back out. You're gonna have to leave them alone for a while. Yeah. Them out. You can puff up a little bit of smoke in there, but you might push them further back. I just leave them for now, see if they come out. We'll work on this comb here. Get the rest of the nest cleaned out. There she is. Hi. Right there. Where? Right here. Joey got the hard part done. He found her. There's the queen. Here you go, Mike. All right, guys. Joey, Joey saved the day on that one, because I sure could not see her. I kept looking under there, and my eyes were shot. And he's looking right there, so I went to push them all down because I thought she was going up. He said, no, I'll get her. And I'm glad he did. Let's see if we see her. I don't want to squeeze her open. She's down in that corner. There she is. And as Mr. Ed would say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And as I would say, praise the Lord. <laughs> and as anybody else would say, thank goodness. <laughs> you know what? Thank the Lord. We just thank the Lord for that because I tell you, that it's all over but the crying now. <laughs> there she is. As they always say, she's a beautiful thing. We got the queen cage. Now we're just going to vacuum up the rest of them and uh, close this thing back up. Take the bees to another yard and let them sit there for a few, couple of weeks maybe. Then we'll bring them back over here where they belong. I think he's going to keep them right here in this area. We've got a few chunks of honey right now. And we stopped taking honey out. All the brood was on this side. And all that's honey over there. So we're going to be oh, taking it out. Yep, all that's honey. Or honey frame, honey cone. We don't know how much honey's still in there. All right. all right, Mike, how much brood you got rubber banded up here? Well, we've got four frames, some really nice brood. And you may be thinking it don't have much brood because it's not capped, but there's a lot of eggs a lot in of here. Eggs, yeah. Joey saw those eggs cutting this out. So we got that, a little pollen. Uh, this is a nice frame of brood. Yep. And we got a fourth one. And we'll join this to them pretty soon. And again, there's a lot of eggs in here. So don't let that yeah. fool you. Yeah. And then there's a the pollen. Pollen frame. Uh, we decided to save this, even though they're bringing in a lot of pollen, because I think it's uh That's very pretty. Yeah, it's real pretty pollen. They work so hard to get it in there. Let's let them have it. Yep. Why make them work even more? We're already giving them a lot of trauma. All right, our honey man is ready. over the hose. Alright, get you some more out here. I gotta get a little small beans. Get them out. Take the number down.
Okay, we got all the bees vacuumed up. Got the queen sitting there. We're gonna transport them to one of my bee yards for a few weeks and then we'll move them back here for the blueberries. What we say, Mike? We had five frames of brood. Four with, frames of brood and one frame of pollen. And some pollen. And we've got, that's honey, huh? Yeah, that's all honey. Yeah, we got good honey in that pot right there. This is all wax. We got a tote full of wax and then another tote here of honey that Mr. Bruce is going to I'd say it's five gallons. squeeze out. About five gallons, I think. All right, we're going to head on to the other bee yard and put these back together. Uh, All right, we headed back to one of my bee yards in Pine. We're going to set it up there for a few weeks and then bring them back to the blueberries. I'm kind of dusting Mike a little bit back there. We're on this gravel road. That was probably one of the easiest. It probably had a lot to do with plenty of help, but that was probably one of the easiest removals I've done. But it might have been because Mike did most of the work. Could be that. I got to work just fine. Like it's, it might be a little too much. Here, flip it up. Yeah, you can tell when you put that box on. Huh? Yeah. I know it needs to go up some, but it, plus you can't let, yeah, that's better. I think I did. Daddy, you say that I was made for the level. <laughs> <laughs> Put it toward the back, I suppose, because that's where they're going to come up at. Yeah. Put it in here. I reckon it'd be just as good as any other place. So I'm here. Let me slide this over. A little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, that's good. Put it where you want uh huh. Look at her trying to come out of there. Yeah. I think that'd Feel be. like she's back home now, huh? She will be in a second. Down the center. Ow! Oh, that old thing got me. No, uh, what you yeah. got? I'm, uh, what you got? Uh, oh, wait. Right back on. And then uh, we let them in. Now we just all sealed up. We just pull this out of here. That time's up. There you go. Don't want to pull it too far. Yeah, there we go. We we squishing bees now. <laughs> That'd be good enough. Yeah, they're probably going back together already. Yep, they'll join up to that brood, get that brood warm. That's all foundation, so they'll they won't even stay down there. And then if they're if they're good hygienic bees, they'll have it cleaned out in a day. But if not, they'll start cleaning out. Yep. All bees are gonna clean, but well, you ready to let them loose? Yep. That's it. Let's see if they make a run. Oh, probably so. Yeah, that one that one tried to get after him, but other than that. What can you expect? I mean, can you blame them? Oh yeah, they're getting after us now. <laughs> <laughs> go, show it, go! They <laughs> mad. They mad, buddy. I'm going to get in the truck. You got to go back and get your camera. I'll come back and get it later. <laughs> Here she goes. <laughs> 